We've known that children get COVID-19 less frequently and have less severe symptoms than adults. Why? Inside my nose, I have ACE2 receptors, which bind perfectly with COVID-19. That's how the virus gets into my body. But children don't produce ACE2 receptors as frequently as I do. Here's Dr. Naomi Bardek of UCSF during her Zoom presentation. Um, and so the implications is that if there is no door for the disease to get in, then there is no or limited disease in elementary age students. So that's why we're seeing that pattern. Elementary school kids also have smaller lungs, so when they sneeze or cough, they don't spread the particles as far as high school students or adults do. Another interesting fact is that size does matter. Kids are shorter and their viral particles drop to the floor, which means they can't spread upward towards the adults in the room. Perhaps the most important point that UCSF wants to make is that masks, physical distancing and ventilation are key to curbing the spread of the virus. Take, for example, this high school in Israel. As seen in this picture, the students were wearing masks, but were not sitting apart from each other. Then for two days, there was a heat wave and every student was allowed to take their masks off. The air conditioning was on, the windows were closed, and it led to over 150 people in the school getting um, infected. UCSF researchers now say a mask will protect others as much as it protects you because it can control how much virus actually comes into your body. So it's not that you can't get it, it's just that actually the severity of the illness is lower, which means that um, anybody, including teachers, would be less likely to have a bad illness with it. Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News.